what's going on guys so i know it's been a while since i've uploaded had christmas which that's not an excuse that was like three months ago um just a lot of other stuff going on with work and family and stuff so i apologize i've got some new stuff to do some neat new videos that i should be doing soon i've got jb4 for the car um m s lowering springs and i'll go over each of those so uh anyways what we're doing today one car stereo sent me this so if you go back through my videos, I had a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, adapter box interface, whatever you want to call it, for my Civic. The video did really well. Cool device. I liked it because we went on a, a road trip or something like that. If my 10-year-old daughter, she uh, she's a tall kid. She would sit in the front seat sometimes. She watched Netflix or YouTube. Obviously, I wouldn't watch it because I was driving, but... Pretty neat feature that, that 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 car does when you're in park somewhere, not driving. So they sent me this device. Now they sent it to me a little bit ago, and like I said, I, I apologize. I just have not had time to get to it. So this is another wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto box interface thing. And they just plug into your regular USB and work that way. But the cool thing about this, it's got a built-in dash camera. So, um, it has collision detection, built-in memory card. Um, I haven't plugged it in or turned it on yet. I'm just kind of looking at all the features. Here's the coolest thing about this. Now, I don't know if you can see this on this little piece of paper. Your dash cam shows up on your uh, infotainment screen, which is pretty freaking cool, I think. So, you can download more apps. Um, this has like a Google Play Store. So you can download Google Maps to this and not use your phone. You can run it through the interface. Um, man, this thing looks really neat. So let's just get it plugged in and fire it up and play with it. Okay, so here's some of the stuff that's in the box. It gives you a little trim tool to hide the cord. Um, instructions, obviously. Here's the device itself. So it would go, which I'll put it over here, up up on your windshield like that. And then uh, the cool thing is, is the camera is kind of movable and stuff. So you can adjust it to your needs. Comes with some nice sticky, you know, 3M style double-sided tape on there already. Um, <clears throat> there's where your cord plugs in. You got a memory card slot and a SIM card slot. So you get a SIM card for this and it would have its own data connections. So it is 1080p, high def, full HD. Um, so there's some of the specs on the lens there. So let's get this thing plugged in. So I've just got this in accessory mode because obviously I'm sitting in the garage. So we're gonna wait for this thing. Um, you can see on here, We've got some connectivity lights and stuff. Not sure what those mean quite yet. So let's go to media here. Let's see. Let me fiddle with this. Oh, there we go. So it's restarting. It's going through its calibration process because um, here's the, the cool thing I noticed already is um, it's already going to adjust to this screen. So, I mean, you can see here, I can still have my factory stuff over there. So pretty cool. I was worried about that. Um it not formatting correctly to the screen because it's a very wide screen. All right, let me get this set up and I'll be right back. Another thing I'll show on this, I've seen these boxes where they're real laggy and they'll have a big delay on um, when you do inputs and stuff. And you can show my phone recording down there. So... Yeah, I, I'm going to have to figure out all this stuff 
Spotify, YouTube, Netflix, Google Chrome. I'm going to have to set up my uh, Wi-Fi and stuff. So let me do that, and then we'll kind of go over all this. So here's what I was talking about. How cool is that? You can literally pull up on your screen. It's like a like a dash cam and like a patrol car or something like that. So um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to mount this up here, and I have to get it kind of adjusted to where I want it and stuff. And like I said, it has automatic crash detection and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so let's see here. This thing is night and day better. Nothing wrong with the older product. Don't get me wrong, but this thing is night and day better than, um, their devices in the past it's fast it you know it doesn't lag there's some different things you can monitor and stuff so i'm gonna get that youtube working and then um oh it's got ways built in google maps google assistant so far this thing's a 10 out of 10 this thing is awesome all right guys there you have it there is YouTube content on here. It's connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone. I mean, how cool is that? The screen looks awesome, too. All right, so you can pause your video. Stupid discharge warning thing. I've been in here for like 15 minutes. This thing was super easy to set up too. Um, <clears throat> the instructions they come are clear. Like I said, you just connect it to your hotspot on your phone just like you would with anything. So that's how YouTube works. Um, you'll see on here, see that pop up? It's like a, a quick bar so you can go to any of these old, you know, things you were just at that's your currently open apps just like if you've used oops fat finger right here that goes back out to the main screen i don't know what this one does oh it kills apps sorry guys i'm a split screen that's pretty cool um i'm in iOS guy. So some of this Android stuff is foreign to me. Go to Google Chrome. So I have to sign in and all that stuff. You got a little browser on here. It says that you can sync. Are you, like I said, you've got more apps and stuff. So yeah, there you go. I'm going to go to ESPN and check on how badly the Jayhawks lost last night. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Go KU. You Big 12 fans out there. So, again, this is working off my phone's hotspot. But, um, you know, you get the idea. If you get better, if you have faster internet somewhere, that stuff will go a little faster. Um, how cool is this? I mean, seriously. I've never seen a plug and play product that's worked this well that's has this many features so i grew up in the era of i think i said this when i did the honda video you'd go buy a 1500 dollars flip out screen that's basically just a head unit with a dvd player in it and it was a touch screen no nav you know didn't have any of that stuff this i mean it does everything and the dash cam is the coolest part um i'll show you guys one more thing on here hold on Hi, buddy. What do you see on here? Is that monster trucks? Is that cool? You hear them? Pretty cool, huh? What do you think of that? When you ride with dad, you'll get to watch a bunch of cool stuff. There you have it. He's spoken. 
pretty cool. All right, guys, so that's where we have it mounted. So I'll show you how easy this is. Just got to hide that cable now. That's it. You got your dash cam. Everything should automatically fire up. And like I said, I need to get, I, I'm still gonna get this fine tuned and, and I need to um, get all the parameters set up for the, like to auto connect to my hotspot on my phone and stuff. But, um, yeah, I like it right there. And they give me this nice little trim tool, like I was telling you earlier. So I'm going to run that cable. Just stick it up here, run it down the A pillar down here and back up. I mean, it's, it is plenty long to, um, sorry, it's going to make me connect to the hotspot. I need to get the auto deal set up. So yeah, that cable will run along here. Wireless Android Auto, dash cam, it's a, uh, you know, CarPlay adapter. I mean, this thing does everything you could ever want. And they're going to get to the point where um, you really aren't going to need aftermarket head units when you can make your current head unit looks nice and factory do all this stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll drop a link down in the description. Uh, thanks again for uh, One Car Stereo for sending this to me to try out um you guys make a great product like i said this thing is no lag what more could you want so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a lot of talking and stuff and we i was kind of walking you through you know the basics to how to get this set up so expect a follow-up video on this one i'm definitely going to use this thing every day and uh, i'll catch you guys on the next one have a great rest of your weekend